Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today is very exciting, we've got a brand new unit in DCS, High Mars, and it was made by Current Hill, and I've got him here, say hello Current Hill. Hello. In game we've already got the legacy version of the M270 MLRS, Multiple Launch Rocket System, but now you've introduced a much more modernized version of MLRS, the M142 High Mars, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, and a great looking thing it is. Today we are going to test High Mars, as well as that we're going to look at a tactical wargaming situation. It's something you guys, the viewers, have asked me since the uh, conflict in Ukraine has been going on. Can a High Mars with Attackum missiles attack the Crimean Kerch Bridge from current Ukrainian positions. First, let's look at the mod. This is freely available. I'll include the link in the video description. Features, custom textures with rough mets, custom weapons, custom ammunition, animated weapons, custom 3D models and textures, player controllable gun, custom sounds for weapons, damage model, antennae with swing effect and three loadout versions. The loadout versions are GMLRS Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System. So these are not like the original M270, which in the sim at the moment only have unguided missiles. These are fully guided. The second version, GLSDB Ground Launched Small Diameter Bomb. And that's really interesting. And finally, the big mother, ATACMS Attackums Army Tactical missile system. The Americans just love their acronyms. Ranges GMLRS nautical miles 8 to 50. The small diameter bomb 30 to 80. Attackums 40 to 160 and we believe there is a new version coming out. Can you just give me 30 seconds on that? We have the precision strike missile, the PRSM, uh, that's uh, entering service in 2023. They will be able to carry two of those, unlike the attack amps that uh, it can only carry one of. And it will even have a longer range. About 300 miles, isn't it? Yeah. Regards the tactical situation, this map I've copied out of Wikipedia as the latest progress of the Ukraine-Russia conflict. As we can see, the nearest firing point towards the Kerch Bridge in Ukrainian territory is that point there, 135 nautical miles away from the Kerch Bridge. And here we have Crimea, Ukraine, the occupied bit of Ukraine, and the actual border to Russia itself, all one to one scale. Here is our firing position. Today we have three targets. One, generic target at 43 nautical miles from our firing position. It consists of, whoops, he's got away from us. It consists of a series of armor because these first targets are going to be test targets to see how effective, how powerful the warheads are. 20 targets. The first five are MTLB, extremely thin armored APC. The next, BTR, the next stage up of armor, medium armor. Next, heavy medium armor, a BMP-1. And finally, Heavy armor with a T90. The second target is exactly the same, but it is 75 nautical miles away. We'll first use GMLRS against target one. We'll then use the small diameter bomb against target two. Then we'll look at a tactical situation. We've got the Kerch Bridge to attack. The Kerch Bridge is here. It's critical for supplying the Crimea region and Russia's war effort. We don't want to go into geopolitics here, but looking at the weaponry involved and the technology is very interesting. So here is our version of the Kerch Bridge. is isn't actually modelled in our sim. We've just modelled a very small bit in the middle with an oil tanker. That's what we're going to be tacking today. I couldn't find out up-to-date information of exactly what is defending the Kerch Bridge, so we've made some assumptions. First, on either end, Panzer SA-22 with cannon and guided missiles. They easily have enough range to cover the bridge. You can see their rough range markers there. And an S400 battery, at least one S400 battery covers the bridge in real life. And today we're just doing one very close battery. It's a large battery, including a total of four launcher A's and four launcher B's. It's all set up and ready to fire. So that today is our example defense of the Kerch Bridge. Can our missiles get through? Well, we'll find out. The first thing I'm going to do is just jump into game and show you that I can actually drive high Mars. Everything CH does, he makes it drivable. So in a game master slot, find our high Mars. That guy there. 
You will spawn in as the gunner slash driving position and you can drive it and gun it just with your normal combined arms controls. The model itself is top notch as you would expect from CH. And it will uh, defend itself from a helicopter, so low flying uh, stuff and uh, yeah, ground uh, vehicles. I note it's a wheeled vehicle rather than a tracked vehicle like the M270. Why is that? Was that to keep it cheaper or was there a tactical reason for it, CH? Yeah, the tactical reason is because you can transport it by aircraft. Uh, it will fit inside like a C-130. Right, that makes sense. If you want to actually fire the missiles, they are guided missiles, so the only way to do it is from Mission Editor here. So what I'm going to do is look at one I've prepared earlier. It is the GMLRS version. I've already set up fire points on the first target in the Mission Editor. Let's go and watch him. I could mention it takes uh, around 40 seconds uh, from uh, it, it uh, stops and uh, starts deploying until it will fire. Up it goes. And some beastie. So the... The, the, the missile pack is modular, isn't it? They can just put a new pack of missiles in. Is that how it works? Okay. Exactly, yeah. Uh, this kind of missile we're looking at right now, uh, as you can see, there's six of them in a the package. Yeah. And I've also simulated the uh, resupply truck. You can't ah. see it, it's, it's invisible, yeah. but it takes around five minutes and you have two reloads, which the, the actual Mark uh, 37's resupply truck carries. So uh, besides the one you have uh, already mounted, you have two more reloads and about five minutes between them. I wasn't aware of that, but very good. Uh, now, there are always restrictions when making odds and DCS, and one of them is because these are guided missiles, you can't loft them as high. The real one would kind of be more of a parabola uh, type flight path, but this is going to have to be much flatter. Do you want to quickly explain about that? Yeah, and especially with this one, the GMLRS, since it has a minimum range of eight nautical miles, and that was the only way I could uh, uh, simulate it uh, in DCS. Uh, we'll see then with the the longer range of ones, which has a minimum range of 30 and 40 nautical miles, I could make a much less shallow trajectory for them. But as usual, if I find a way to, to make this better, I will implement it Roger. straight away. Okay, viewers, set your face to boom boom. Oh, oh smash! MTLB destroyed. That was accurate. Uh, BTR? Completely destroyed. Uh, BMP-1 with some splash damage, BMP-1, thicker armor, completely destroyed, T-90. Close the sunroof. That close the sunroof, yeah. And T-90, no damage, that's so uh, well, no visible damage. Yeah. yeah, T-90, no damage, I guess it's simply because it's a frag type, you know, no penetration missile. BMP's smashed, MTLB's completely smashed, and BTR's smashed. Right, let's fire the small diameter bomb. Okay, small diameter bomb. So is this literally the normal small diameter bomb that we're used to seeing, but with a rocket booster on it? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's the one that, uh, for example, the Gripen is carrying. Yep. It's clever. And it's used in the same booster as the, the uh, M26 rocket or the other one, the GMLRS we saw before. Right. So the same booster and the previous one, but they've replaced the warhead section with that, the small diameter bomb. That's freaking genius. Boeing, or whoever the heck makes this. Wow. All right. Why not? Because you don't have to develop more and more systems are getting more modular like this, aren't they, CH? Yeah. Very clever. Oh, did you see that, viewers? Did you freaking see that? Right, this has got a long way to go, so I'm just going to... Um, I don't want to waste your time, viewers. Oh, the sky looks nice. And down it goes. Gliding, gliding, gliding. Uh, warhead size and anything else, please. Uh, yes, it's a uh, 250 pound warhead and it has the, about the same accuracy as the MLRS, like okay. around five uh, meters. Even. Is it GPS INS guided? Yeah, GPS, yeah, and INS. All right, let's see. MTLB, wow, look at that. You can tell it's a bigger warhead. Took two rows down. Yeah. Uh, BTR, look at the accuracy on that thing. <laughs> BMP1, medium armor, heavy armor. And main battle tank. <laughs> CH! Friggin' main battle tank taken out! Yeah. And a battery of high Mars is usually, I think, three uh, vehicles. Look at that. So as long as it's a pretty much direct hit on a tank, it'll kill it. It won't cause any splash damage to a tank, because it wouldn't. Yep. Brilliant! Right, valued viewers, it's time for the big one. Attackums!
So this one is going to launch one super giant rocket, 135 nautical miles over to the bridge and hit the bridge easily with enough accuracy. Uh, I've not tried it because of literally you've just watched me set it up. I don't know if you've tried it or not. Have you tried it against Panzer and S400? Yeah, I've done some tests uh, with a couple of different uh, SAMs. Uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. All uh, right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to ask you to spoil my surprise. All right, valued viewers, place your bet. I'm going to bet that it gets intercepted. It's not a hypersonic missile. I don't see why it can't be intercepted. But like I said, I've not tried it. So we'll see. Um, about this big fat sausage missile, what do we know about it? Uh, warhead size. Uh, so why is it so yeah. big? Why is it, why is it so big? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Since, yeah, that's why you, you can only carry one, uh, as you would see, but it looks like you have six of them. Yeah. And they, these are uh, fake uh, cover plates so that, uh, you know, they shouldn't know if you're carrying the six or the the uh, big Bertha. Um, yeah. And, yeah, uh, it's a 500 pound warhead on this one. 500 pounds. So this would be more, I mean, you wouldn't launch that at tanks. What would you launch at uh, infrastructure? Wow, the yeah. size of it, CA. Jesus. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it looks like it's more I like a cartoon it. missile. It is yeah. a cartoon missile. What the heck? <laughs> Man, that's so crazy. Yeah, so this is what you're going to launch a big bunker or a big, you know, warehouse or something. Everything absolutely has to die. Look at the uh, altitude on it. Right, I've got, to be, I've got to actually do my job here. So let's watch this sky. Have we have any activations? So these guys are up. The big birds are up. It's not fired yet. Our missile is at uh, 61,000 feet at about Mach 2.5. And, and it's on its kind of glide down now. All right. Now, let's go and have a look again at S400. They look... No, that is... Which one's the track radar? That's one, that one's the track radar. And it doesn't look very concerned. So, yeah, I guess we won't. to say since it's mm. already pointing at that direction, I think. Mm -hmm. Where is it? I don't know. Is this coming from the north? I don't think we're... Ta okay! Ooh. Look at that! <laughs> S-400 is activated. S-20... SA-21 Growler missile now. Well, this is only going to end one way, unfortunately. CH. Yeah. All right. It's a fast missile. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, going to go smacky boom boom, I'm afraid. Right, but let's watch his uh, almost certain demise. I mean, there is nothing stealthy about this, obviously. It could easily be spotted at a long distance. Pretty yeah. much as big as an aeroplane for fuselage. Yeah. Wait for the inevitable. But it wouldn't be good if it missed. Yeah, smack! God damn it. Right, can Attackums in standard configuration take down the Kirch Bridge? I know it's not very sexy, but sorry, no. S400 will smash it out of the sky. So that only leaves us one thing. We've busted the myth. Let's replicate the result. How many uh, Attackums do you want to try next, CH? Yeah, maybe that. a couple of batteries or... You okay. think? Yep, there's two two batteries, viewers. How many have you Karinko? I don't know. I don't suppose you know the answer to that. Uh, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. It's like, could it be like four mm -hmm. batteries or something like that? This is going to look kind of sexy. Let's watch these giant crazy missiles pop out at once. Should be... There we go. <laughs> ah, simple things in life. <laughs> All right, big novelty silly missile. Right. I'm just, I don't want to waste people's time, so I'm just going to scroll forward. Yeah, it's a pretty perfect target for these kind of right. systems. Right, yeah, it really is, isn't it? Bang! And this will shoot well over 100,000 feet, that's 400, so... Yeah. There's no going over it either. I've tried going over it with, with everything. Yeah. And since they aren't maneuverable, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. But they don't take any chances. No, no, not taking it. Quite a lot of them. Right. Um, <laughs> gonna, Check them. Yeah. That's going to be a, a lot, lot of wasted them. money. Well, not wasted, yeah. you know what I mean? Right, here yeah. we go, viewers. Things about to get splatted. Bang. 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 Ooh. I can see where this is going, CH, and it is not going in our favour. Right, let's yeah. model all of the attacker. Uh, not the, the, the attackums haven't actually been sent to Ukraine for exactly this reason. But let's just say they did have attackums. Let's put all yeah. of the batteries that have been sent. Uh, let's just let's just. It, it it's just uh, they think it's at least twenty HIMARS systems. That's been supplied. Oh, to twenty. One so let's see how many we've got here. Right, yeah. twenty HIMARS systems, viewers. Basically, it's as many missiles as the S four hundred has got by the looks of things. I've modelled my S four hundred on the battery that's on the south west of Crimea at the moment so it's just an example that I've used off uh, Google Earth right 20 do a thing 
Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I gave me a shock. Fine. That's a sight. <laughs> yes. Let's go watch these missiles going up in super fast motion. One, two, three, four, five. So that'll be 20 then. At least, yeah. Plus or, some redundancy. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they got redundancies going up. Oh, gee, oh, stop! Come on, we want to see the action. Oh, the satisfaction. Oh, it was like a World War II bomber raid and everything just getting smacked to pieces. <laughs> that one missile took out a bunch of them. The thing with the warheads so big. World's most expensive flag. Right? Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Oh, you never know. One thing we've learned is you throw enough yeah. mud at the wall, something exactly. can get through. Can exactly. something get through? The confliction, we know, yeah. I've seen it many times. One just missed it. Yeah. Christian with one getting through. Yeah. For devastating results. Go on, attack them! Go on, attack them! I desperately want Bow to win. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> they've run out of missiles! Oh no, they haven't. Oh, come on, that's unfair! And blatantly teasing. <laughs> that's the smaller one, that's the smaller one. Yeah, it's the other one, yeah. Oh, man. It's gonna work still, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. I've got an idea for the next round. An excellent idea for the next round, you might say. All right, viewers, that didn't work. I've got a way of doing this, though. Valued viewers, when 20 high miles don't work, you have to send in the SEAL team. Ich bin ein SEAL team, watch this. Ba -ba -ba. US infantry M249. Now, when you absolutely have to make sure that the S400 does not operate optimally, engage SEAL team or SAS or SBS or Mossad or some such. All right, when you really have to bias the results. Yeah, get some. <laughs> yep. It's kind of satisfying, right? Yeah. Ladies That's and gentlemen, much how how the Ukrainian work, uh, working? Right. Yep. Yeah, literally taking shotguns. Yeah. Shotguns and taking the S400s out. Yep. Yeah, that is uh, kind of a bit poetic in a way. Each one of these sites, by the way, value viewers, is three hundred million dollars. In fact, there's slightly more than that because this is a big site. Right. Send them! Right, no, I forgot about the Panzer. What about, there's not, I don't think there's enough Panzer there to... Yeah, it, yeah, it will struggle. I've done a lot of tests with the smaller missiles because mm -hmm. you can really uh, saturate, uh, especially the Panzer. Mm -hmm. It will uh, work hard when you throw the mm -hmm. smaller missiles on it. They're actually pretty good missiles. Yeah. They use them on ships, don't they? They use them on the new Corvettes. Yeah, yeah, the Hermes. Okay. They're not firing. They are not firing, sir. They are not firing. Woo! Right! This time? Now, why didn't Panzer attack? Now, I have no idea. No idea. Yeah, I know they will attack the, the smaller ones, but they will do it when they're very close. Oh, no! No! What happened? What happened? Uh, a thing happened? The attackers run into each other. I bet the attackers run into each other. Now, just to prove we don't script these friggin' things. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go and watch that just to double check that. I don't think I've yeah. ever seen that before, but they're such big missiles, I think they're running into each other. Or, or were they running out of speed and reached the oh, minimum speed level. And that's also interesting because I have tried them at the max range. One yeah. six, and this was uh, 135 or... Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on them. They yeah, one... they're, they're going to slow and that's very interesting. Hmm, I think you just found a bug because they aren't supposed to go that slow. Roger. That is interesting, I have to fix that. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something strange, and that's yeah, very odd. Since I have done a lot of testing on it. Roger. Well, you yeah. know what? We're blowing up this bridge one way or another. Valley views. Yeah. If I have to do it with my face, so stand by. <laughs> I mean, we've proved at least with the tech we've got, they can't get through. The S four hundred will blow them to pieces. Right, viewers. This has got a bit agricultural, uh, but one way or another, that tank is frigging going down. Alrighty then. Come frigging get some. That's a good way to end a video. And I'm gonna have a start and talk with a quality manager of uh, right of management. CA of Current Hill uh, Properties <laughs> Limited. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Smash! Got it. Well, I got myself. But I took 50% damage of the bridge down. I'm happy with that. Right, valued yeah. viewers. As ever, things have got weird. But we showed using the system. 
for the GM LRS against these guys here. We then showed using the small diameter bomb version against that there. We then showed using the Attackums, a single one, and it got shot down by S400. Multiple, it got shot down by S400. 20, all of them, and it got shot down by S400 and other little bits of S400. We think Panzer didn't shoot it, which is interesting. And then um, we found that they're just not quite reaching what they're supposed to reach. And so yeah. CH will go and but, sort that out. Yeah, but, but, but even if we are increasing the speed, they should be faster. It, it would still be no problem for the S400 to take them down, even if they're faster yeah. than. So if they're going not. Mach 2, if they're going Mach 3, they're going Mach 4, yeah. still uh, S400, yeah. can, that's within their threshold. So sorry, I know you're going to say, ah, but drones are getting through to Moscow. And they are, but they're doing it at 20 feet off the ground. Nothing can shoot you at 20 feet off the ground. Attackums does not go at 20 feet off the ground. Uh, good work as ever, CH. Anything to add? Nope. Okay, bye-bye.